Welcome to Jumperman Tech. Today we got a service call that we got no heat. This is a fan call unit. So this is operated by water, either chilled water or hot water. And now uh, let's take a look and see what's going on. Rule of thumb before you start any service call. Have a sip of coffee. This is the old school thermostat. Set to heat. Fan is on low, and the temperature control is set to warm. So right now, we're getting 72.5 degrees. I got my thermometer in the supply duct. This does work off a water valve. The temperature not rising. You know, there's no control with that valve. So we definitely want to take a further look into what's going on there. Alright, so I traced out all the wiring and the way this works, this unit is controlled by a pipe sensor. Uh, the thermostat is line voltage, which is 120 volts, as well, as well as the motor and everything else, except we actually have a 24 volt uh, water valve. So that works up a pipe sensor. and. What I see here is that the only thing that this transformer is in here for is for that valve. So when the pipe sensor senses the temperature of the pipe, it will either tell it the valve to either open or close depending on the cool. The water valve seems to be doing nothing and the low side of this transformer is only used to energize that valve. So let's see, incoming power, we have our 120. Okay, and when we check across the next two terminals, we have nothing. It's a bad transformer to me. I do see an inline fuse. Set the meter to continuity. Short it out so we know we're good. Let's see. So we have a good fuse, input power, but no output power. That's a bad transformer. That's why that valve's not operating. So I have a universal transformer with automatic reset, three amp. I'm gonna go ahead and install this, 120 primary and 24 volt secondary. So common is white. And 120 represents the black color. So we're gonna use these two as our primary. Yellow and blue is our 24 volts for the low side. These wires and cut off the ends and tape them off individually so we'll have no feedbacks. 120 is my 24. Tape these each individually and just put them to the side so don't get confused. Let's go ahead and put this together uh, and take this one off. Alright, power's off. Alright, so that's my 120. Put that to the side. Here's my low voltage. This one. The fuse was going into here, just on the common side. You guys want to put this on the positive side, not the common neutral. on them so cut this off I gotta go grab my drill but you know what I'm just gonna put in one screw for now should be fine all right so we got that mounted 
This is the low side. This is my high. Pretty uncomfortable to work like this, but it's all in a day's pay. Let's see. So on the blue side. Well, this already has a an automatic reset, so we don't need this fuse anymore. So let's see. Comes in. out here so let's take that out just get rid of this whole thing quickly so we can test it out and let's see what happens all right so the my 120 is taped off I mean uh wire nutted and my low side is exposed so let's see volts AC for bolts. We look now, we do have 24 volts. Oops, I just lost it right there. Alright, so we have... Yep, we have voltage. Let's see. Steady light. That was the water valve. Okay, we have a steady light on the water valve now. Let's watch the temperature. Should be on heat. There we go. Temperature's rising. Alright. All right, got heat. There's that water valve, got a steady green light. And on this side, oops, on this side I needed everything up. You notice there was exposed contacts and everything on the other setup. I was able to run all the wires inside the 1900 box. And uh, it's pretty good. Main thing is that we got heat customer is going to be happy. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.